Motors is here. CXO for Motors America. We are in uh, south end of uh, Portland and we're at the One Motor Show. We've got a display stand here and we are going to have a look around the show. We're going to meet up with Liz at our Cascade Moto stand. So uh, yeah, we're going to be bringing you some cool looking motorcycles. We want you to like, subscribe, hit the bell because we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff as, we, as we're moving through our series of vlogging. We're new to this, we're getting better at it. And uh, yeah, this is just one of one of our really cool events that, that we're involved in. This is a custom bike build show, and we've got some cool bike bikes on our stand right now. And we're associated with BMW, Triumph, all the guys, all the in. Do you need us a little more that way? Quiet on set. <laughs> so we finally managed to catch up with Liz at the one show. We are here with Liz. Liz. Hi. Hello, Liz. Hi, I'm Liz. <laughs> at the Liz. one show. No. We didn't know this is Liz. <laughs> Liz, talk to us about your new store. Well, we're excited. We're opening a Triumph flagship on Northeast 180th and Gleason. Who are you talking to? I'm right here. Oh. I think I forgot to say Triumph too. You're and you said, right? And you. Take four. Right now, it's just take four. Yeah. Okay. Just hit the cutting room floor, isn't it? Let's hope so. No, there's going to be a blooper reel. <laughs> you guys, we finally made it to get to speak to Liz at the one show. Um, it's been a whirlwind tour this, this weekend and it's been an absolutely ama amazing event. We've had a lot of response, a lot of people showing up, signing up. So much fun. So much fun. Liz, tell us about what's been going on. We've had an excellent event this weekend. What are, what are your thoughts? What's, uh, what, can, what can we look forward to in terms of Columbia River? Well, I think people are just stoked to have uh, some support on the east side of Portland. Uh, we're going to be at 180th in Gleason, and we've got a huge parking lot. We're going to do bike nights and, and really bring that motorcycle community Parking together. lot parties? Yeah, parking lot shenanigans. <laughs> But um, but are you? I mean, what what is the what is the most exciting part about this this new store? It particularly being a, a, a Triumph store. There's a community that's on the other side of the bridge that keeps coming over. It's it's an access point into Portland for the the patrons on the other side. So yes, and I mean we're at the like the mouth of the Columbia River. We've got Mount Hood right there. Great riding roads, and with Triumph introducing their new dirt bike. And, yes. You know the enduros. Uh, That's something that I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna, it's the perfect location for that. Are you going to be taking up uh, enduro riding? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> are you going to be taking some the, lessons? Yes. Carrie from BMW said so yes. she's going to work with me. Carrie from BMW. <laughs> I mean, this this just opens up a whole new uh, a whole new Pandora's box for us in terms of just an, another segment within our Cascade Moto and Motors America brands. So I mean, the off road market is good, is going to be a really good good segment for us to be in. Triumph's been very quiet about about this bike, so I think once they start to release more information about it and all that kind of stuff, it's going to be it's going to be something to. Be Really exciting. Right. Excited. I'm excited too. We can't wait. This, we look forward to it.
I am here with Donovan from Thornton 100 and as promised we're going to bring you some really special motorcycles. This is a motorcycle that you may have seen uh, featured at uh, Daytona Bike Week in some of our social media posts but we would have been we would have missed the boat if we didn't get Donovan from Thornton 100 to bring his bike to the one show. So thank you very very much Donovan. Yeah, we absolutely. really appreciate we really appreciate having you and your bike here. Yeah, we're honored one, to be here. One of the the beauties that you guys are building and and uh, have out there on the on the roads. Tell us a little bit about Thornton 100. Yeah. What's the what's the backstory of of the Thornton 100? So uh, Thornton 100, uh, Jody Millhouse uh, over in uh, England uh, had this vision of uh, making the world's fastest bobber. So uh, he went and accomplished that, and then his vision for a wide wheel uh, bike that would have modifications to make it look different in this new era of Triumph Bobber. And we have come out with the Baja edition for the US. Uh, and we have our shop located in Boulder, Colorado for the US. And uh, we have the first build right here that we did. And we have the wide wheel kit with the triple trees that are okay. wider on the front. So, so, sorry, you guys, so these are, are manufactured by Thornton Manufactured 100? by Thornton 100 in England. Okay. And then we have them brought over. Okay. And we build the bikes off your basic uh, Triumph Bobber yeah. platform. And then we take it from there. I mean, this is a thing of beauty. I mean, the thing that attracts me most to the bike is the beautiful artwork of the exhaust system that you guys have have had created Absolutely. for this for this yeah. bike. It is unbelievable. It is Absolute unbelievable. work of art. And they have an exhaust guy in England that this is all he does. Wow, exhaust. So beautiful. Yeah, and they have different varieties of the exhaust. This one happens to be, you know, the twisted exhaust. But yeah. we have other varieties to choose from. Uh, we have a uh, two-in-one, we have an X-pipe that comes off both sides. So depending on what you would like in your build, we like to think of this as a bespoke personal build to yeah. the customer and us. And so we would choose different paint schemes, we would choose different seat materials, we would choose you know everything from different tire setups, wheel setups, you can yeah. have you know anodyne nipples I mean it actually goes on and on yeah the detail the details are, are absolutely yeah, and, endless right and the secret is in the details right exactly the devil is in the details. exactly I mean so that's the, the more the more I look at the bike the more I fall in love with just li just the little things that you guys have done that are so impactful and make so much of it so much of a difference do you guys do any engine work to these bikes engine work can be done to these bikes uh, okay. as we speak we have one on our stand in Boulder that is getting the full supercharger kit. Wow. So it's getting uh, high, uh, high pressure for pist pistons. It's getting a bigger cam. It's getting a uh, full, you know, yeah. forced induction. So yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's a tight package, but so, it fits so, beautifully. So for everybody out there, they can actually go online and, and check you guys out. You have Thornton 100 on Instagram, right? On Instagram, right? as well as And your YouTube website? Channel. Yes. And we have the website, which is uh, done by uh, the, uh, the QR code, yep. you know, okay. you can do that as well. But parts uh, uh, and introductions to what the bike is are available there. Yeah. So you do you do have a YouTube channel as well, and we'll YouTube we'll link we'll well. link all of that stuff in. But but absolutely beautiful motorcycle. Thank you. I mean, anything else? Is is there is there anything else that we need to know about this bike? Uh, well, what we're our goal is is to be uh, one on one with the customer who is wanting a Thornton hundred special build and we want it to be a bespoke purpose built bike for them yeah. and once we build their bike we will not build another one they, it, it will be their one of one bike That's so it, it makes it a very personal thing absolutely between awesome. us and the potential customer for, for a Thornton 100 motorcycle absolutely awesome we talk street art sarcasm 
Christ, humor in high fashion. Peach color moon glistens the black dickens. As we laugh off with shotguns and tongue kisses. Bubble back to the dairy, would you rather? A cold flame, the dull and no shame. Drugs, sex, and Polaroid. Pick a star in the sky, we could both say goodbye. All night. I wish I could paint my Another beautiful motorci motorcycle to show you guys. And this is the Triumph Chrome Edition. We have Sean with us. Sean is an avid Triumph Scrambler guy, as we can see. But anyway, now Sean, tell us a little bit about, about the Chrome Edition uh, for the Triumph Scrambler. So the Chrome Edition is really nice because it really throws back on Triumph's heritage yeah. on early dirt bikes. Um, Triumph came out with the TR5, which actually had a Chrome tank in the early 70s. And that's a nice throwback with a nice little touch. Okay. And is this kind of modeled off the bike that Steve McQueen jumped? over the fence in that famous old movie. Yeah, it's pretty close. Um, this one's got a lot more suspension travel than those old ones, so you, yeah, know, exactly. you, won't, you won't break your back landing them. <laughs> I wonder how many bikes he actually broke doing that, filming that shot. But anyway, that's, that's for... That's for another another oh, show. Oh yeah, but but I mean, really, uh, Olin suspension, which is, I mean, ten top inches, of the range. Ten inches of travel, front and rear. So you have one similar yeah. to this, or what, what? What model do you have? Yeah, the XE. Yeah, the XE. Yeah. So the, what's really nice about the XE is all the rider modes. Okay. So you can actually, it's one of the few models, new models, you can actually cut back ABS completely. So, so is is the is the Chrome Edition unique to just this year, or, or why why the why did they come out with this with this Chrome Edition? I think Triumph said they're they're only bringing them they're only going to build Chrome Editions for 2023, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Yeah. So this is a special edition. Exactly. So I mean, if if you guys out there haven't seen one of these before, come down to the show and take a look. You have to come out and, and take a look at the details on this bike. It is definitely blinged out.